If you're thinking about selling on Amazon to earn some passive income or to start your path towards achieving financial freedom, then you're already on the right track because you clicked on this video. Here's a product I recently launched. These are bamboo plates under my new brand, Shy Leaf, and they're already starting to sell 10 to 20 units a day. My other brand, Royal Elements, has done seven figures in total sales after I've launched over 20 products for that brand. Selling products on Amazon has given me the freedom to be able to travel, buy a new car, and build my own dream business instead of working for someone else nine to five. Now here are the eight steps you can follow to get started selling your first product on Amazon. The first thing you're gonna need to do is sign up for an Amazon seller account. You can do that by Googling sell on Amazon or go to sell.amazon.com. A couple of the documents you'll need would be a valid government ID and a bank account that you can attach to your seller account so Amazon knows where to pay you out. You can either choose the professional plan or the individual plan. The professional plan is $39.99 a month and it gives you access to a lot of tools and analytics and additional resources to sell on Amazon and it allows you to sell unlimited items. The individual plan is free but it costs 99 cents per item sold, and it's only really useful if you plan on selling maybe 10 items or fewer per month. The next thing you need to know is the difference between Amazon FBA and Amazon FBM. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, and essentially what you do is you have your supplier ship the product directly to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. That way, Amazon will pick, pack, and ship your products. They'll handle returns, and you'll get that Amazon Prime badge. FBM stands for Fulfillment by Merchant, and it's essentially what it sounds like. You, the merchant, are responsible for shipping out every single order once a customer places an order on Amazon.com for one of your products. Step three is to pick a business model. The business model I follow is called Private Label, which is essentially just putting your own logo and branded packaging on a product that you get from a manufacturer. It tends to have the highest margins and the longest lifespan out of a lot of these other business models. And I teach you a step-by-step -step approach inside the Ecom Project Zero course, which you can learn more about in the link in the description of this video. Another business model you can follow is called Wholesale, which is essentially buying branded products from a distributor and reselling them on Amazon under someone else's listing. A lot of people are drawn to this because you don't need to create your own product or listing. However, margins tend to be slimmer and you have no control over the business. There's also retail and online arbitrage, which means essentially you go into a retail store like Walmart, look for items on clearance, buy them and then resell them on Amazon for a markup. That's good if you have a really low starting budget. However, it's a big hustle and you have to continually hunt for new products. Then there's the traditional old old school way of copy and paste from Alibaba, a product that you think is hot or trending, selling it on Amazon, crossing your fingers and hoping it sells well, and I am personally not a big fan of this. Step four is to pick a winning product. Now this is where a lot of people get tripped up because they don't know how to do research, they don't know where to look, and they don't know what tools to use. A tool I've been using to sell on Amazon for the past five years is called Jungle Scout, and it allows you to see all of the data and make a good decision based off the competition, demand, and a bunch of other factors when you're hunting for that winning product to sell. This is something you need to take your time with because about 80% of the battle is picking that winning product. And my favorite approach to doing product research is to use their product database, enter in specific criteria such as price, number of reviews, number of sales, and take some time to look through the database to weigh all of these factors. And once you find a product that you believe has good demand, lower competition, is a good product type, is not seasonal or patented, then you can move forward to the next step, which is finding a manufacturer. To find a manufacturer for your new product, you're gonna to wanna to go to alibaba.com, which is essentially like Google for finding manufacturers. In the search bar, you can type out whatever product you're looking for, then you'll get a list of hundreds or thousands of manufacturers that you can look through, and the big things you wanna look at are the main image, if it's the same as the product you're wanting to sell, the rough price, and some additional information about the supplier, such as how long they've been doing business and what their ratings are. From there, you're gonna to wanna to contact these manufacturers. In the Ecom Project Zero course, I have a copy and paste supplier template. That is something I would recommend using in order to make sure you get the best price and all of the details from the supplier so that you don't get overcharged and you know everything up front. Now, I would recommend getting samples from your top one or two suppliers, then moving over to instant messaging, uh, building a relationship with them, and before you place that 
that order, make sure that they're the ones you actually wanna do business with for the longer term. Now, while your product's being manufactured, the next step is to create your Amazon product listing. To do this, go into your Amazon Seller Central account, click on catalog, and then add a new product. If you plan on private labeling, you're gonna to need to get Amazon brand approval. And I would recommend going for GTIN exemption, which means you don't need to buy a barcode. You can just use the Amazon barcode that's generated for you for free. You're gonna to need to fill out a lot of product information such as the title, your bullet points, what images you're going to add, and any relevant product information which will help you get more search and discoverability in the Amazon algorithm. Now, once your Amazon product listing is live, you can then create a shipping plan once your manufacturer is done producing producing the product. To do that, you can go into your Amazon Seller Central account, hover over the Inventory tab, and then click on Shipment. So a lot of my subscribers and students get confused on this part because they need to know what shipping address to send to their supplier, and you're not gonna know this until you create a shipping plan. You'll need to fill out details like how many units you're sending, how many boxes, and what type of shipping you're gonna use, for example, sea shipping or air shipping. I'd recommend using sea shipping DDP services, which means delivery duties paid, because it ends up being the cheapest, and DDP allows you to just pay your supplier and have them take care of the whole shipping process. Once you create your shipping plan inside of your Seller Central account, you can just email those documents to your supplier and they'll be able to print them off, stick on those carton labels and ship the product directly to the Amazon warehouse. Step eight is the fun part. It's where we actually get to launch our product. The most effective way to do this is to start running Amazon PPC or pay-per-click ads. In your Seller Central account, you'll be able to click on the advertising tab and I'd recommend creating at least an automatic campaign spending roughly $10 per day. Personally, I start with Amazon automatic campaigns, then create manual campaigns specifically targeting keywords that I know customers are searching for. I've also been experimenting with Amazon video ads, which have been very, very effective. Initially, you might think this is backwards, but personally, I look to get sales and to get ranked before I look to make a profit on my new product. So that comes down to having a good optimized product listing with incredible images, a good title, excellent bullet points, and a description. And then also getting traffic or eyeballs on your product, and that comes from running Amazon ads, running coupons, and enrolling in the Amazon Vine program, which allows you to give up to 30 of your products away in exchange for reviews directly through Amazon's platform. I still remember the very first week of selling on Amazon, where literally every day felt like Christmas because I'd refresh my seller app. I'd say I'd make a sale, two sales, three sales or more and literally all I would do would be sitting around the house playing video games and I'd be making money in my sleep finally which I've never felt before. If you'd like to learn how you can start working with me I have courses coaching and consulting which you can learn more about in the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.